Hey guys, today we embark on an insightful exploration of the electric vehicle realm. As the world eagerly embraces this technological revolution, it's time to address the elephants in the room, the obstacles, the uncertainties, and the opportunities that lie ahead. Fasten your seatbelts as we delve into the reasons behind the deceleration of EV sales, despite the alluring incentives and price cuts. Buckle up, for we're about to unravel the seven critical factors that have cast a shadow on the once promising EV honeymoon. Reason 7. When Early Adopters Retreat In a striking revelation, a study published in the prestigious journal Nature unveiled a surprising statistic that has raised eyebrows across the automotive industry. In California, a state renowned for its pioneering efforts in sustainable transportation, a staggering one in five early EV enthusiasts have made a U-turn, reverting to their trusty internal combustion engine vehicles for their subsequent purchase. This reversal trend has sparked curiosity and begs the question, what's driving this shift away from the electric revolution? Among the early culprits cited in the study are the challenges faced by renters and those who relocated during the unprecedented COVID-19 pandemic. Many found themselves in unfamiliar territories, grappling with the lack of access to convenient Level 2 chargers, a stark contrast to their previous living arrangements. The alluring dream of rural living quickly soured as their beloved EVs struggled to keep up with the scarcity of charging infrastructure in these areas. Furthermore, the study shed light on another intriguing pattern. Households with fewer vehicles and those who retained less efficient gas guzzlers alongside their EVs were more prone to abandoning their electric rides. This trend highlights the practical considerations that come into play when integrating an EV into a multi-vehicle household, suggesting that range and charging limitations may have played a role in the decision to revert. Interestingly, the study also uncovered a gender divide that cannot be ignored. Women, it revealed, were more inclined to revert to gas-powered vehicles after their initial foray into the world of EVs. While the reasons behind this gender disparity were not explicitly explored, it raises questions about the potential influence of factors such as perceived convenience, range anxiety, or even societal norms on the adoption and retention of electric vehicles. Reason 6. When Inventory Outpaces Demand Imagine dealerships teeming with unsold EVs, gathering dust as salespeople grow increasingly frustrated. This is the harsh reality we're facing a supply glut that defies industry standards. After years of supply chain constraints, automakers finally had the opportunity to ramp up production only to find themselves outpacing the market's appetite. Last year's modest 50% year-over-year growth paled in comparison to the staggering 500% increase in supply. With EVs still accounting for less than 8% of the total US market, a milestone that should have been surpassed by now, dealers are left grappling with the challenge of clearing their bloated inventories. Reason 5. Affordability and Insurance Hurdles While EVs are becoming more affordable, they're still not quite within reach for the mainstream consumer. Over the past year, the average cost of a new EV ranged between a hefty $50,000 and $60,000, a decrease from the previous average of $65,000 in 2020, but still higher than the $48,000 average for gas-powered cars. The dearth of affordable EV models under $30,000 and the scarcity of options priced between $30,000 and $40,000 have left many potential buyers feeling priced out. Hybrids with their average price of $40,000 have become a more rational choice for eco-conscious consumers, offering both affordability and relief from range and charging anxieties. But the cost of ownership doesn't end at the point of purchase. EV insurance premiums are notably higher than their gas-powered counterparts thanks to factors like higher MSRPs, lower reliability ratings, and lower resale values. A reality that adds yet another financial hurdle for prospective EV owners. Before we delve deeper, we kindly ask you to smash that like and subscribe button. Your support helps us reach more auto enthusiasts like yourself. And together, we can navigate the ever-evolving landscape of electric mobility. Now let's shift gears and steer towards our next point. Reason 4 range anxiety and charging challenges. While EVs have made impressive strides in range, with many models now offering over 300 miles on a single charge, it's still not enough to alleviate range anxiety for long journeys, without frequent charging stops. Moreover, the battery performance can be unpredictable and heavily influenced by external factors, such as harsh weather conditions. Heavy-duty applications like towing, hauling, or off-roading can drain batteries at an alarming rate 
suggesting that all electric pickups may not dominate the market anytime soon. Charging anxiety is another hurdle with the lack of infrastructure, acting as a significant deterrent for many potential EV buyers. In numerous areas, the number of public chargers is woefully inadequate, and relying solely on home charging is simply not an option for a substantial portion of U.S. citizens. Furthermore, numerous reports have surfaced about non-functional chargers, even in areas with a high concentration of EVs, further compounding the frustration. Reason 3. Resale Value Woes when it comes to buying a new car, resale value is a crucial consideration. However, in the realm of EVs, preserving initial value is a formidable challenge due to the sparse used EV market and lingering concerns about battery longevity. Consequently, EVs tend to depreciate at a faster rate than their gas-powered and hybrid counterparts. The latest data paints a sobering picture. EVs lose nearly 50% of their value over five years, compared to the industry average of 38.8% and 37% for gas-powered cars. Among popular EVs, the Tesla Model 3 stands out with a 5-year depreciation rate of 43%, still higher than its gas-powered rivals. Models like the Nissan Leaf and Chevy Bolt suffer even greater losses, with over 50% of their value evaporating after 5 years. While the Tesla Model S depreciates around 55%, the most significant losses are seen with luxury EVs like the Porsche Taycan, which can lose over $100,000 of its value in just four years. In stark contrast, the iconic Porsche 911 loses less than 15% of its value over the same period. Highlighting the stark contrast in resale value between EVs and their gas-powered counterparts. Reason 2. The Reliability and Repair Quandary on paper, EVs with their simpler design and fewer potential issues should be more reliable than internal combustion engine cars. However, recent reports suggest a different reality. A recent study by Consumer Reports revealed a startling statistic. Electric cars are actually 80% less reliable than gas-powered cars. Software glitches, battery and charging failures, poor assembly quality and quality control issues are just some of the factors deterring consumers from embracing EVs wholeheartedly. But reliability isn't the only concern plaguing the EV landscape. Maintenance costs also pose a challenge. While EVs should theoretically be cheaper to operate than gas-powered cars, their substantial weight leads to more frequent tire replacements. Experts who believe that brakes wear out faster despite the presence of regenerative braking systems. Additionally, repair costs tend to be higher due to the scarcity of trained professionals and the complexity of certain design solutions, particularly when it comes to battery casing and body damage. Reason 1. The Verdict EV technology is a work in progress Despite the remarkable advancements in EV technology, these vehicles still fall short of meeting the average buyer's expectations. While they offer impressive power and acceleration, they lack the autonomy and affordability of their internal combustion engine counterparts. The transition of EV also demand a significant lifestyle adjustment, with more time spent at charging stations and the need for home charging facilities. A Boston Consulting Group survey revealed that only 40% of customers plan to buy an EV, but their expectations exceed current offerings. They desire a $50,000 car with a 350-mile range and a 20-minute charging time, criteria currently met only by the Hyundai Ioniq 6 SC IWD long range. This underscores the need for further advancements in EV technology and highlights the buyer's remorse phenomenon, where potential customers hesitate to invest in a rapidly evolving technology. And that'll be all for today. Thank you for joining us on this insightful journey through the world of EVs. Don't forget to like this video and also subscribe to this channel, your ultimate source for vehicle updates, and stay tuned for our upcoming videos as we continue to explore the ever-changing automotive landscape. See you next time and bye for now.